Well, the course itself is made up of the two strands. So compared to other institutions, what we do is we bring the two strands of behaviour and wildlife conservation together. So for us, that's really important. In addition to that, and one of the things that always gets the students really excited is the amount of field work that we do. We fight really hard to make sure that we keep as much field work at all levels. And that's the thing that really gets us excited as academic staff, because that's what we signed up for, to do that kind of thing. That's what we're really interested in. Well, initially, to be honest, um, I saw the course and overlooked it because I thought the title was a little bit too pigeonholed. I had a recommendation from one of my college lecturers to look at Wolverhampton University. And this was the only animal course that they did. And when I actually looked at the modules, it was so perfect for what I wanted. The staff were just amazing. They were so supportive. I've been to other universities, been a mature student. A lot of them thought I was somebody's parents that had come with them for an open day, which is a little embarrassing. Here, I was welcomed with open arms. Everybody just great. They're so approachable compared to some of the other universities I've been to. The staff, uh, just, they're just what made the course for me, to be honest. Well, during the start of the course, we did a lot of lab work, but we've also done quite a lot of field work. We did bird surveys and invertebrate surveys, water surveys, but the best ones, I think, are the ones that are abroad. The university put on trips to India, South Africa, and we also go to the Azores as well. And with the Azores, it's like all marine, so if you like marine stuff, you get to see dolphins. There's really a wide range of activities to do, and they're all really, really fun. So you'll go out to the field every week, which they provide transport for. Um, learning sort of habitat mapping, um, which is something I've never done before, uh, trying to figure out where the animals would live, um, why it's designed like that, if it's human based or if it's actually naturalistic. There's so much variation, you're never doing the same thing, you're either in a lecture theatre or a lab or in um, a nature reserve in Wolverhampton or you might be in a nature reserve in Penrith, um, you could be in Africa, you could be in India. We do a lot of skills related teaching which means that students can pick up a lot of transferable and employable skills in modules. If somebody has got a, a, a basic interest in a particular group of organisms, whether it's birds or butterflies or snakes or, or whatever, they probably spend a great deal of time watching the animals in the wild or keeping them in captivity. And if you've got that interest from childhood and through your formative years, you're always looking for a way of turning your hobby into your career. And that really is only achievable by doing a degree in animal behavior and wildlife conservation at the University of Wolverhampton.